Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the short series that we're doing with Code Drumheads. I'm Adam Steele and this is Mike from Code Drumheads. Today we're talking about the differences in different types of snare heads. So if you've not seen any of the other parts of this series yet, uh, we've already done a section talking about kick drum heads and click pads and uh, dampening and all that kind of stuff. And we've already done an interview with Mike about the history of code. So today we're talking tech. We're talking uh, whether a, a head should be coated or not, whether they should have that center dot or not. And we're talking specifically about code drum heads in that context. So, um, there's different types of heads for different sounds, I guess, isn't there? I mean, mm -hmm. off we go, I guess. How would we describe, <clears throat> or how would you describe the sounds you get from your different heads? Um, well, snare-wise, I, I mean, with heads in general, you, you're kind of looking at two main areas, uh, if you like. You've got your single ply and your twin ply. <clears throat> now there are triple ply as well, um, but not not as many. Um, so basically, you've got you single ply, twin ply, and generally you've got your coated or clear. Um, now, as we were kind of discussing earlier, it's, it's all about a choice in sound, uh, and a lot of people don't think of snare heads as being clear heads with no coating on. It's always it's just this thing of, you know, snare head is coated, snare head's coated. And it's not the case at all. It's down to the sound you're looking for, um, you know, what, what sort of music you're playing, etc. So I think the only reason snare heads were coated in the first place was to create a rough surface to imitate, you know, the calf skin, primarily for use with brushes, you know, because you get that, that effect that you need. You can't brushes on a, on a smooth head don't really work as well because you don't get the, the, the same sort of noise. If you're not using brushes, then you might say, well, why do you need it? And I'd say, yeah, why do you need it? Which is why we've got one of our heads, the TRS, is, um, is, is clear, basically, no coating at all. That's specifically designed for the rock side. So we have in our range various heads that will work for snares. Okay, um, we're going to go through the three that are specifically designed for the snare. We've also got you know, our DNA coated and our generator coated that are twin ply and single ply coated heads, which work for any area of the kit. Cool. Yeah. And we've also got a little sneak peek of a, a head that's uh, coming out. That's next right. Year. That's right. That's the, uh, the, the signal, which is going to be coming out at some point next year, hopefully next spring, which is a single ply head but it's um, the same thickness as the twin ply. So it's basically 13 and a half, 14 mil. So it's a nice, thick, single ply head. Uh, very durable, uh, it's, it's nice and bright. We've got one on the snare here, which we'll, we'll hear at some point. wherever that fits in with all this, yes. uh, um, you'll hear that. Uh, and it's, it's great. It's getting great reviews from the, the players because some of our uh, endorsees have uh, been sent out to test with them uh, and the feedback so far is really, really good. So that will be launched next year. That will be in, uh, in well, it's like a milky, uncoated version, if you like. So it's not clear, but it's uncoated, but it's like a milky colour. Uh, and then a coated version and that works also for the snare, toms, and we've got a bass drum version which uh, will have the, the internal dampening ring like the Blast does now. So that range will work all over the kit. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll get to hear those today, but just to be clear, unless you're watching this video in the distant <laughs> future, which happens a lot on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. And will, uh, when those skins are available, I will put a link in the description. Yeah. But for now, just be aware that if you like the sound of them, they're up and coming. Fairly soon. Spring, what year are we now? 2020 it would be. <laughs> Hopefully they're going to be available. <laughs> what day is yeah. it? It's been a long, 
<laughs> been a long life. <laughs> right. Uh. So we're going to listen to all these skins with different backing tracks, slow, rock, metal, groove stuff. Uh, and we're going to talk about each one separately. And then at the end of the video, we're going to play them back to back then without the backing tracks and then the close mics. So that's going to be right at the end for those who are interested. Right here, we're going to talk about them specifically. Yeah. Yes. So first things first, let's start just because we need a place to start with mm -hmm. the most kind of open and I suppose resonant sounding skin of the ones we're going to talk about. Yeah, of the um, of the specific snare heads, we're going to be talking about um, this fella first, which is R0. And that camera's close on me, so there you go. <laughs> That's the so it's the, the the zero. This head, yeah, probably the mo most open. Um, apart from the, the just a single ply coat of the DNA, which is your standard sort of all rounder head. Um, now this one is again this is single ply, so this is ten mils thickness, single ply, um, with the um, the black reverse donut dot. As we spoke about earlier, this was kind of yeah, something that I, I, I took, if you like, from the premiere design of the 80s, which I just think looks just really cool, basically. You've got that kind of thing. Yeah. Either way, you know, it, it just looks great Yeah, for me. Um, it's really primarily there. The dot is primarily there um, for, to add a little bit of durability. Simple as that. It's it's another it's another layer behind the head. It does have a slight effect on the uh, on, on the resonance of the head. Slightly controls the overtones if you like. Um, but this head is it's a general all rounder, not for heavy duty use really. More for sort of light to medium, I guess, something like that. Um, but yeah, a good all round head. Good stuff. So let's hear this one in action on our acoustic ballad, and then. For the purposes of this video, we'll jump straight into the classic rock track, mm -hmm. just, just to give an idea of how that's going to sound. Mm -hmm. So, uh, next up uh, is the Sterling. Now, tell me, Mike, what is the difference between the previous skin and this one? Well, the Sterling, you can see that. Uh, this is for your harder hitter. This is a twin ply. So, again, um, it's, it's twin 7 mil plies. So, basically, yeah, altogether uh, 14 mils there with the reverse dot on this, which is, um, again, PT dot on the back for some uh, some extra durability and in between the plies around the outside um, you've got like a bonding ring now that helps to re to reduce overtones okay so you're not getting as wide an open sound you're still getting a nice sensitive tone to it but a bit more depth and a bit more punch to it basically okay so this is really um, yeah for the slightly heavy hitters so this would be for you kind of medium to heavy if you like I would have said on that one. Good stuff. So twin ply. Yeah. My my main steel snare ha has one of these on it. Mm -hmm. And now that we've talked about that, I must say I'm quite glad that I picked that one because I do tend to hit it quite hard. <laughs> so without further ado, here's the Ballad of the Rock track with the Sterling.
And now for something completely different. Uh, so this is the TRS. As a nerd joke, I suppose you could say the sound is quite balanced. Yeah. <laughs> Get out, yeah. Um, so what's different about this one? Right, well, well this one, uh, as you can probably see from the cameras, is not coated. And, and as we were, we were talking about earlier, this was developed, um, well, developed with uh, Russ Gilbrook from, from Uriah Heap, who is a, a monster of a hitter, monster heavy hitter. So we wanted something that was really durable because the thing is with, with coating, you know, if you're whacking coating with a piece of wood, um, sometimes you might have chips, a chip tip in it or whatever, it can just carve it away, basically. So uh, my thinking was, well, if it's not coated, it's not gonna it's not gonna carve it away and if you're playing heavy stuff which is this is mainly aimed at you know you're not gonna be using your brushes and things like that so you don't need that coating um you've got again twin plies the actual bottom ply is a clear ply and the top one is this milky and then on the top another layer uh, of pet for this protective dot so in effect you've got kind of three plies right in the center yeah, whereas on the other ones we looked at, they had the reverse dot. This has got the dot on the surface to really, to try and, kind of like an impact patch, but to protect the surface, you know. Uh, it hasn't got a bonding ring round in between the layers, so the two free floating plies. Um, so it's got a, a nice attack, um, plenty of punch as well. Um, but yeah, it just work, works really well for the rock. So, you know, this is for the, for the heavy hitter, basically. Good stuff. TRS, Total Rock Snare. That's what that stands for. <laughs> Which, you know, when you say it back, mm, a bit cheesy, but that's what it is. Total Rock Snare. Awesome. <laughs> Here it is in action. And last but not least, uh, let's talk about the mystery new skin, yeah. the Signal. Uh, yeah, the Signal, um, which you'll be hearing um, as well, is going to be our heavy duty single ply head, basically. This is going to be, um, it's just under 14 mils single ply thickness. So it, it is the equivalent to, to the overall thickness of, a, of the twin plies we have. Um, and again, the thinking behind it is purely uh, durability. That was the initial thinking about it anyway. But then when I got the sample through and started to play it, I realised that it had a real great crisp sound as well. It's very cutting. Uh, it's got a, it's got a, plenty of ring in there as well, which you can you know dampen it if you want, but it's got that nice ring to it. But it really cuts through. Um, um, we're going to be doing it coated and uncoated which will work, it works perfectly for the snare and for the toms as well. And there's a bass drum version, which is gonna have the um, the internal dampening ring as well, like the blast. Um, and that will be a sort of more heavy duty bass drum head, if you like. So it's kind of, the initial idea was heavy duty head, durable, but from all the feedback we're getting from players who've been using it, it seems to cover all areas. Good stuff. So here's the upcoming signal head on the snare in action.
And that's all the snare heads and the technical talk for this particular video. Uh, at the end of this little bit is where we're going to play all the different snare head types back to back. Uh, and then again without the backing track and then again literally just the close mic so if you want to hear exactly how they sound recorded and how they sound as a full production that's all there for you because I mean that's going to be useful for quite a lot of people I would imagine because yeah. hearing it with a backing track is one thing but actually hearing it separately also great yeah. but that does make the video quite long so at the end it goes mm -hmm. so for now I'm Adam Steele for Hot Pole Studios Mike from Code Drums, and we'll see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about the toms. See you soon.
Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here, or check out our Facebook and Twitter, or our Patreon page which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.